Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Windows Update Error 800700E you're getting on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing, if you're running anything older than Windows 8, so like a Windows 7 computer, you want to go ahead and look in the support link in the description of the video. It's going to be for a Windows Update Readiness tool. And this is going to be in lieu of the built-in tool that we're going to run on our Windows 10 computer here. So you just want to go ahead and download that from Microsoft's website and run it in a similar fashion you're going to see done in this tutorial. So pretty straightforward process and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So open up the start menu on Windows 10, type in Troubleshoot. One of the best matches should come back with Troubleshoot Settings. Left click on that one time. Underneath Get Up and Running, left click on where it says Windows Update, resolve problems that prevent you from updating Windows, and then left click on Run the Troubleshooter. This will take a moment to run, so just be patient. So it may or may not be able to identify the problem. In your case, hopefully it will say it was able to fix crop files. Click on close. Once it's done, restart your computer. It's what I would suggest to try and do. And try and run the update again, see if it's resolved the problem. If not, another thing we can go ahead and try would be to open up the start menu, type in services. Best match to come back with services right above desktop app. You want to go ahead and left click on that one time. First service you want to go to is the Background Intelligence Transfer Service. You want to go ahead and double click on that. You want to go ahead and double click on that. If service status is currently running, you want to left click on Stop and then left click on OK. And you want to do the same thing for the Windows Update Service. So scroll down, you want to stop that one as well. And then left click on OK. Minimize the services window down to our taskbar for the moment, and we're going to go ahead and open up the star menu. Type in File Explorer. Best match to come back with File Explorer here. Left click on that. Now on the left side, you want to left click on this PC, and then select your local disk where Windows is installed on. Most people it should be the C drive, but it'll probably also say local disk, and there should be a little icon of the Windows logo above the hard disk in case you have multiple drives listed in here. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to go ahead and double click on the Windows folder scroll down to software distribution right here and double click on that double click on the download folder and then any downloads that are shown in here you want to go ahead and just hold down your left mouse clicker just highlight over all of them right click over the selection and then left click on delete and there you go guys if you get anything that says that it cannot be deleted just check mark to skip for remaining items like this and then left click on OK basically paraphrasing but it's going to be something along those lines you just want to go ahead and skip them doesn't really matter if there's a couple entries in here so once you close out of here open back up the services window and you want to go ahead and re-enable the Windows Update service so if it's stopped you want to start it also make sure startup type is set to automatic and left click on OK same goes for the background intelligence transfer service however if you want you can keep it at automatic delayed start or automatic whichever you prefer and service status you want to left click on start and it should say running and then left click on ok close out of here attempt to run an update again and hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem so as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial i do hope i was able to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial Goodbye.